Hey guys, Jared here with a Gamification video. With Mario Kart 8 Deluxe dropping 6 booster packs and there's also 6 columns in the character selection screen, I think there's a video here. Could you imagine if Nintendo just randomly announced that they were going to be releasing an additional character along with the tracks? The internet would blow up. I mean, Nintendo already know that DLC characters sell like hotcakes, so why would they not want to replicate that? Which is why I've picked out two lightweight characters, two medium characters, and two heavyweight characters who I think it could possibly be if they were to add six DLC characters along with the tracks. And of course, if this is your first video here, then be sure to subscribe and like the video, as apparently that's what makes me happy in life. So my first lightweight character I'm going to suggest is Goomba. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, Jared, what the hell are you talking about? It's a Goomba, how can it drive a car? And to that I say, you silly bugger, they've made it work in Super Mario Party. If they can make it work there, I'm sure they can make it work in Mario Kart as well. I mean, come on, Goomba is an OG Mario villain and Koopa's always been in the Mario Kart games. Why are we not getting any love for Goomba? And I understand that sometimes he's an obstruction in the road, but heck, if we can have Pink Gold Peach sipping past Cat Peach all in the same race, then I'm sure they it won't matter, we've got extra Goomba on the track as well. So Mario Kart 8 was the first Mario Kart we saw with additional third party characters in, being Inkling, Link and Animal Crossing. So I think they could add another one, and I would suggest Kirby, as I think Kirby perfectly fits in with the whole environment of it, and Kirby's had a racing game before, so you know, it, it, it's not completely unfamiliar territory for the pink ball of goo. And with the new Kirby game coming out, which by the way, looks pretty good actually, I think now would be a perfect time to add him into the game. Moving on to the medium weight category, and I am saying Diddy Kong. Now I know Diddy Kong's kind of a lightweight, but he's definitely more on the heavier side of lightweight, so I think we could you know, squeeze him into the medium category. Diddy had always been in the Mario Kart games, and it was quite upsetting for, for most fans to see Diddy not in Mario Kart 8. We don't really know why he got shafted out, but here we are, Diddyless. Now we need some more female representatives in the game, which is why I'm saying Birdo. Um, is Birdo a girl? Or is it a boy? I actually don't know. Can, can someone tell me in the comments, what, what is Birdo? Is it a boy or girl? I mean, if it's a girl, cool. If it's a boy, power to you. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not one to say, but I've always thought Birdo was a girl. Anyway, Birdo was a fun character, it's lovely seeing Birdo going around and it would really tap into my nostalgia to see Birdo in the game because similar to Diddy Kong, Birdo had always been in the Mario Kart games and for some reason didn't quite make the cut for Mario Kart 8. Now moving on to the heavyweights and I'm saying Pauline. Now wait, 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 wait. I'm not saying Pauline's fat, I'm not saying she's chunky or anything like that, I'm not, not saying she's overweight by any means, but in Mario Odyssey, my goodness, she absolutely towers above Mario and makes him look like a pile of um, tiny mushrooms. That's right, Jared, stay monetization friendly. And since they put Rosalina as a heavyweight, I'm pretty sure Pauline would quite comfortably fit into this bracket as well, as both of these girls are significantly taller than Mario in their respective games. And the final character on the list and in the heavyweight category is King Bobom. Now I don't know why we didn't see King Bobom way more in the games. He's such a unique and fun character. He's the OG boss from Mario 64. And I'm so, so glad we're getting to see him in more current games like Mario Kart Tour and the new Mario Golf game. He's just so much more unique and interesting in comparison to a really boring heavyweight character like Dry Bowser. Like who cares about him? Give us King Bobom. He, he's like an OG, you know, man? Yeah. Yeah, that's what the kids say. But what do you guys think of my list? Do you agree with my six I have picked? Or do you perhaps disagree? Or do you even disagree with the whole theory altogether? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe for all things Nintendo.